Good afternoon. To ensure the best transmission of data and the highest throughput possible, there are some settings the user to take care on the switch for K and V0 device. In this session, I will use the link switch to show you the necessary setting. The first one is IGMP. On this dealing switch, you can find this setting under the L2 features. Select L2 multicast control. Choose IGMP snooping settings. Click enable and then apply. The concept of IGMP ensure the data sent to the correct network device. Otherwise, it is like a denial of service attack. Increase your network loading and then crash it. The second one setting is for control. For this dating switch, you can find it under system item. Select Pro Configuration. And choose Pro Settings. To enable the flow control for all ports, you have to draw down the two port menu. Select the maximum port, the last one. And choose flow control on. And then click apply. So the change will apply from the first port to the last port. Flow control is the process of managing the rate of data transmission between two nodes to prevent a fast sender from overwhelming a slow receiver. IGMP and flow control are necessary for K and V device. But if you are going to use V device, you must enable another function on your network switch, jump off frame. The jump off frame setting on this dating switch. Find the system item. Select pro configuration. And then you can see the jump off frame setting. To adjust the jump off frame for all port, drop down the menu. Select maximum port. Fill in the maximum received frame size 9216 and then click apply. The concept of a jumbo frame once we increase the package size, it can save the time for package delivery and enhance the network performance. IGMP, flow control, and the jump of frame are important settings on network switch. Please must remember in your bonnet when you are using A10K and a V0 device. Thank you for watching A10FAQ video channel. See you next time.